Ah, uh, One Direction, the band that is no longer together and yet we're still learning new things about what went on behind the scenes during their five year run. With that being said, here are 10 One Direction secrets that have been revealed since their hiatus. I know, I know, no one wants to dwell on the past, especially when we're all anxiously awaiting for the news of One Direction's reunion. But if we're being completely honest, it seems like a one day reunion won't happen anytime soon since Harry, Liam, Niall, Louis, and Zayn are all thriving as solo artists. However, just because they're all solo artists doesn't mean people have stopped asking them about their time in One Direction, which leads us to a number of surprising and shocking secrets that have been let out of the bag since the band's hiatus. Kicking off our list is Liam's confession of his unhealthy drinking habits while on tour with the group. In an interview with The Telegraph, Liam revealed that being on the road with the band and their excruciating schedule led to some pretty unhealthy eating habits. He said, quote, I went through a real drinking stage and sometimes you take things too far. Everyone's been that guy at the party where you're the only one having fun and there were points when that was me. Thankfully, Liam realized how bad his situation was getting and took the necessary steps to get better. I'm sure his liver as well as his body is thanking him for that. And if Liam's binge drinking wasn't surprising enough for you, here's a good one that shocked all of us, and I mean all of us to our core. Because ever since Zayn left One Direction, he's been pretty open about his time in the band, but the one thing we never saw coming was the reveal of his supposed non-existent relationship with Harry. When talking to Us Weekly, Zayn admitted to not having a relationship with Harry at all. He said, to be honest, I never really spoke to Harry even when I was in the band. So I didn't really expect that much of a relationship with him when I left, and I haven't had one to be honest. And if you guys listen closely, that is the sound of many Zary Stan's hearts collectively breaking into a million pieces. It's just so sad. A lot of times an artist's first show is something they'll never forget, but for Niall, and maybe for the rest of the guys in 1D, it's something they wish they could forget. In an interview with BBC News, Niall revealed that the group's first show ever was not their best. In fact, he even went as far to say it was disastrous and that he never wants to talk about that gig again. Niall confessed, quote, worst night of my life, the worst One Direction show ever, it was a disaster, we were just a joke, anything we rehearsed just went out the window, it was our first ever gig and we just didn't know what the f was going on. I'm sure it wasn't that bad because let's face it, if it really was that horrible, people would be talking about it to this day. But I guess technically I'm talking about it right now, so. <laughs> what did get people talking about more recently, however, was how Louis felt as if he was the most forgettable member of 1D when he was in it. Louis explained to The Guardian that everyone in the group had their own thing going on. There was Niall, who was this happy-go-lucky guy, who was fearless, Zayn with his incredible voice, Liam and Harry with their great stage presence, and then there was Louis, who described himself as, quote, forgettable to a certain degree. Well, make no mistake, Mr. Tomlinson, you are not forgettable at all. I'm sure if 2010 Louis could see where he is now, he would kick himself for ever thinking he was a forgettable member of One Direction. When the boy band made their hiatus announcement, many wondered if the group initiated it as a whole. And well, if you're wondering, wonder no more, because Louis actually revealed in a chat with the Sun that it was Harry who was ready to break out of the boy band world and start a solo career. Louis also admitted that the conversation about Wendy's indefinite break was, quote, an unforgettable time more than anything. Especially since Louis had just built up this confidence in himself and found his place within the band. But don't worry guys, he doesn't hold it against Harry at all. Another thing he doesn't hold against Harry? Those Larry stylings and rumors. Every diehard Directioner knows all about the Larry drama that happened during the 1D heydays. While the guys never really talked about the rumors after the band went on their break, Louis admitted that the Larry rumors deeply affected his relationships. He said, it created this atmosphere between the two of us where everyone was looking into everything we did. It took away the vibe you get off anyone. It made everything, I think on both fences, a little bit more unapproachable. Well, guess Louis kinda sorta confirmed that all this Larry talk put a strain in his relationship with Harry, but to be honest, it's really sad. This next one is basically in the same realm of sadness as the last. Liam recently revealed the moment he decided he hated the One Direction life, and it happened when he was trying to grab some dinner with his parents, and one of the members of the paparazzi pushed over his mom by accident. Liam talked to the Daily Star about this in 2017 and revealed that while he knew it wasn't an intentional push, it was the moment that totally broke him. He said, I cried my eyes out, I thought I can't do this, and I really hated my life. So sad. Although Zayn left way before the group went their separate ways, that didn't stop him from revealing a few secrets of his own. One of which was that the band wasn't allowed to sing about sex. In an excerpt from Z's autobiography, he opened up about the creation of Pillow Talk, all while revealing that sex was a topic that was completely off of the table for One Direction. He said, quote, it was a sick cut. 
nailing the exact sound I wanted to capture in my music, I was also able to sing about a subject that I hadn't really been able to go near while I was in One Direction, and that's sex. But honestly, the no singing about sex role was understandable for a while because the guys were super young back then and they were also catering to a very young crowd. As we all know, Made in the AM was the last album One Direction put out before they went on their indefinite hiatus. However, Liam said something very sneaky that made us all think the group has one more album up their sleeve. While speaking to KISS FM, he said, quote, there was an album that wasn't toured, which I wrote half of. It deserves its time. Now, let's talk about this for a second, you guys, shall we? The only album that wasn't given an official tour that we know of is made in the AM, but if you check the credits, Liam was only credited with writing a couple of the 13 sounds on the album, which obviously isn't half. And if you look back at the last album, he's credited with writing a ton of songs on four, but then again, it can't be four because that was the album he and the guys were doing on tour right before and after Zayn left the group. Now, I'm not good at math, but if you guys put two and two together, there's definitely something fishy going on there. And the one secret that took us all by surprise, well, the one about Harry actually being the person to give One Direction their name, of course. In an interview with CBS Sunday Morning, Harry revealed that he came up with the band's name after joking that the guys weren't around to say otherwise. We threw around names for a little bit, and I don't, I honestly don't know. I, suggested it and everyone was like, yeah, we like that. And then it kind of stuck and that was what it was. Oh, Harry, no need to be modest if you were the one that gave One Direction their band name. Be proud. Did any of these secrets surprise you? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And then when you're done with that, click right over here to check out all the time celebs debunked major rumors. Thanks for hanging with me here on Clever. I'm your host, Naz Perez. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.